Once you have seen the correct interpretation of Daniel 9 verse 27 on this same channel, part 1, you will understand this video, part 2 of the same study. In this study, we can already position a chronological line in time, biblical chronology, and events. You will realize that Daniel 9 verse 27 and Daniel 9 verse 26 are chronologically based on the words of the Lord Jesus. This study will give us the answer to this chronology of events and will clear us of doubt in a chronological line. We know that week 69 ends in verse 26 of Daniel, which we are also going to see in the Bible on screen. It ends in Passover with his death, where week 69 ended, 7 plus 62 is the total of 69. That's why we know now in this verse, it is important to know that there is an event that we cannot help but overlook. Once the 69th week is over, we will see that there is an event of destruction of the temple. When this was in the year 70, as we know from history, I think no Bible student has doubts just by looking at history. At the time Daniel wrote this, it was not history because it had to happen. So we are going to see here this event, which is fundamental because it is between one week and the next, we are going to see it. I have put it here in the image, so you can see the concordance of verse 26, which we have on the screen. It tells us that at 62 weeks, which is at 69 because before there are the seven weeks, seven had passed, the life of the Messiah is taken from Jesus Christ, and then he says about that event that's why we saw him on the cross in the year 33 when Christ dies. After the year 33, he has to come to the destruction of the temple, but not only of the temple buildings as we are going to see now, that is, of everything that was on the temple mount and well, there it says that there is going to be a war, which we see in history, the temple was destroyed in approximately the year 70. Chapter 24 Matthew says when Jesus left the temple and was leaving, his disciples approached to show them the buildings of the temple in the plural, not just the temple. We must interpret well. What happens is that the hand of man is always here, wanting to be confused. The title they gave it in our KJV says the destruction of the temple, but the Bible does not say this. Jesus predicts the destruction of the temple. The text says Jesus predicts the destruction of all the buildings on the temple mount, the text says. Then, responding, he said, Do you see all this? One stone will not be left upon another that will not be knocked down. Well, it was what was fulfilled up to that point. Perfect. There is no doubt of any kind. I believe that the majority of historians and the majority of Christians agree that it is essential to know that this event is between week 69 and week 70. I don't say it. The Bible says it. Daniel says, and for another week. After counting the 26th, and for another week, the other week, where would you place it? Obviously, after the destruction of the temple. And when was that? It has not come because Jesus is going to place it at the end of times. At the end of times, and the end is not the beginning. It is not the year 34 because, as I already demonstrated in the previous passage, when the 70th week begins and the correct interpretation of Daniel 9 verse 27, Jesus places this week later in the future because it is related to the end together with his coming the 70th week is the last measure before seeing Christ. What would have happened if all the people of that time had recognized Christ? But thanks to them, Romans says, we Gentiles became part of Israel because he made two peoples into one, but not to make this video too long because I want to do it quickly so that it is concrete and clear. Daniel verse 27 says, And for another week will confirm the pact, after the destruction of the temple in the year 70, not before. Because chronologically you cannot put the end and its arrival and then the destruction of the temple. Neither Jesus Christ has arrived nor has the end arrived, and the year 70 is out of date which is why the people who insist on saying that the 70th week has already passed are totally out of chronology, out of date and time. They do not know what they are saying, and as the scripture says, they are delusional. They do not know about chronological issues, and they twist the entire scripture, and I don't even tell you what they keep saying. They believe they are teachers, and they really are unlearned where they preach something that will be in its day, turned against as it rightly points out. The Bible. Then Jesus says the signs of the end. Notice, even this coincides after the Lord says there will not be left one stone upon another positioning us in the year 70. He says that they asked the Lord what are the signs the sign of your coming and the end of the century this and you can see the original in any interlinear. It says the sign of your coming together with the end of the century together with the end of the century. 
This means that the Jews know perfectly well that the end of the century ends with the appearance of Christ. That is why in Matthew 24, he begins to relate a series of events related to the end of the century, and when he names the abomination of desolation that the prophet Daniel spoke of, notice that Jesus only refers us there to Daniel. He refers us to Daniel 9 verse 27 and not to Daniel 9 verse 26 already with the questions of the end served on the table. Because 1 and 2 was before, there it is placed in the chronology. Let's see it here year 70 and where Jesus Christ places it when he answers a question of the end. The end is not the year 34 because Christ would have had to appear. That is very clear. I do not understand how there is a different version of this. I am sorry. I really feel it in my soul, but the people, I repeat, who preach something else are totally out of date and know absolutely nothing about the 70th week. There, you see them saying it's over, and it happened. Still, it didn't happen because Jesus himself placed it. See the image on the screen? I want you to see here a destructive image. I call it the destroyer of heresies an abomination of desolation of the end of the age and its coming and the 70th week cannot be separated. It is what the Bible says in Matthew 24 verse 3. Jesus is obviously responding a question about the end and the end I return. I insist on this point, it was not in the year 34, because otherwise Jesus Christ would have to be here by now. Ah, that was the end, and then came the destruction of the temple without Christ. Where has that been seen and what head does this fit? So Matthew 4 verse 15, when he names the abomination of desolation that week 70 refers us to verse 27, he is talking about what is the image of desolation when the Antichrist is going to rule in Israel when Jacob's anguish begins, which is also there. In Jeremiah, the geographical part of Israel, the Lord has a promise from ancient times that at the end of days, Israel, which is the geographical part called Jacob, that part that today we could call Jews in affliction, persecution, and slaughter. As Zechariah also says, will return to Christ. They will go away. To fall the veil, today you go to Israel and Jesus is rejected and hated. The other day they were spitting on people who were preaching the gospel. The Jews themselves show hatred against everything that is related to Jesus. You will realize when it happens the rapture of the church is a very important event because it is what will awaken the remnant of the Jewish or Israelite people, whatever you want to call it. I want to add that the abomination of desolation is when one conquers something. They do not see now the war in Ukraine and Russia, for example. When they are conquering both, some and others go and put up a little flag. But when they conquer the entire earth as they intend, they are going to do whatever they want, which is precisely what appears in the Bible as an abomination of desolation, and they put something abominable because they are in the Holy Land, which is the land where Jesus Christ was born. So both Titus and surely in the first temple and the destruction, the same thing has happened to the first temple, and it will also happen when we talk about the last 42 months of history there in Revelations, where we see the image appear Luke 21 says that when they see Jerusalem surrounded, and that part is also the parallel of Matthew 24, therefore there is no doubt that this week is totally in the future, and there are seven years in the final seven years, because after the coming of our Lord Jesus, Christ will happen together. That is why there are 70 weeks, and clearly for those who say that a prophecy cannot be cut. Well, in the same book of Daniel they have the empires of how they have been cut off, and it is a prophecy, and there are many more examples, but well I have also heard that out there that they hold on to that. As you can see, I like to study, those who do not they understand they speak for the sake of speaking and this is what the Bible says, to correct those who speak for the sake of speaking so brothers I hope this has been clear to you blessings, and until the next study.